I'm not even sure how to start this video because it is so out of nowhere and there's a lot of backstory that you guys need before we get caught up to this. And I'm gonna do it right now because we're a little bit in a hurry today. No real official intro for it. We're just gonna jump right into today's video. Our Lamborghini Huracan Twin Turbo Wide Body Build. Very, very cool car. Probably the most expensive build. It is the most expensive build we have ever done on this channel. Since I started building this, I've had a lot of people reach out of interest of this car and I haven't entertained anything. I had people offer me money at SEMA when they saw this car in person asking if it was for sale. I said, no, the car is not for sale. Sorry. I'm enjoying it. I learned my lesson with the 458 GT3. I let that thing go right after SEMA and I kind of regretted it a little bit. But I don't want to tell you guys exactly what it is, but I have an opportunity to buy a certain car that I've always wanted and I never thought I would have the opportunity to obtain. That being said, over the last four months, a YouTuber that you guys probably have heard of before, Whistling Diesel, has been texting me asking to buy this car for me. And I'm like, no, it's not for sale. It's not for sale. And every time he's kind of just like raised his bar a little bit. And I'm like, look, this is the offer I got. And I said, no, if you can get to that number, we can talk. Well, he's actually in town and we are going to be meeting up today because he wants to get a closer look at this car. I, I'm not selling it, but he wants to see it and he wants to make an offer on it. So we're already late. And this is my first time meeting Cody. That's his real name. It's my first time meeting him. So you guys will get that experience as well. I'm excited. I'm nervous. There's a lot of stuff I haven't been telling you guys. And I always say that and I hate saying that, but you know, that's just the honest truth. The car that we have an opportunity to buy is so amazing. I love it so much that I'm considering getting rid of this car for it. I actually tried to trade this car for one of these cars. Like, man, almost like two weeks ago, Calvin, I told you about that. And it didn't happen, and then I was like, screw it, whatever, I'm not, not gonna make a vlog about what I tried to do because it didn't happen. And you guys get all chuffed when I sell cars. It's just what you guys do, and I, I get it. But there are some toys that I really wanna have, and I'm willing to trade in certain toys to upgrade to a better toy. And. It's not even like 100% that I can get the opportunity to get this one car, but I have the opportunity to get it. And if I need to capitalize on that opportunity to get it, I'm gonna need the cash to get it. So today's just a feeler, I guess, as to what this car um, could do, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? It doesn't make sense. It makes a little bit of sense. I'm talking a lot because I'm a little bit nervous, but it will all be worth it if it pans out. That's all I'll say. I say send it, bud. We don't like exotics. I, I do. There's just something, there's some things that need to be done and TJ's about to do both of those things. Oh, oh, I see what you're talking about. <laughs> both of them. Both of these things. And to do those things, a little bit of cash. Some things need to go. We're about to pull up the sheepy. Cody hasn't texted me back, so I hope he's here, but he told me he'd meet me here, so we'll see if he, if he pulls through. In a world of overpriced colognes and miniature bottles, there is now a solution, and that is Scentbird. It's a fragrance monthly subscription service that allows you to shop for over 600 different brands. They let you choose new designer fragrances every month for just $16, and you choose what you get, so there's no surprises. You'll get miniature-sized bottles that last up to 30 days, so you can decide whether or not you actually like that fragrance before investing in that expensive, overpriced fragrance. The fragrances come in these little carrying cases, which are awesome, because you can literally put them in your backpack, in your car, or just leave them at home. The four I chose was Mercedes. Sadie's sign, Bentley's Azor, Hugo Boss Infinite. And I actually picked out something new that I actually don't even know how to pronounce, but it smells really good. Every scent also comes with one of these cards that kind of describes what the scent is like, so you can figure out what you like versus what you don't like. Scentbird is available in the US and in Canada, and it's something that you can either try out for yourself or give it or gift it to a loved one or a friend who just maybe doesn't smell that good. And of course, you can use my coupon code to save up to 55% off, which is just $7 for the first month. Use the code on screen or just click the links down below in the description for more information or to just utilize that code. Thank you so much for Semper for sponsoring today's video, and now let's get back to it. Sheepy's number one Lambo returning home. Oh, the land of Lambos. A few moments later. Cody was late, so I was like, oh, screw it. Let's just go to West Coast really quick 
and go talk to Hunter. And as Calvin and I are pulling out, there's this Rolls Royce SUV that rolls up. <laughs> The window rolls out, I'm like, who the hell is this? And he's like, yo, sorry, I had to pick up this Rolly before meeting you really quick, so he's oh here. I don't know if he bought it or if it's rental. If he bought it, that's hilarious. So this car behind us is uh, Cody's R8 and it's here to get some work done on it and they were gonna drive around and do all this fun stuff and they got it here and I guess as a, the guys were pulling it out of the transport, the shipping unit, it got caught and it pulled a bunch of stuff off and now they broke a bunch of stuff. And the crazy thing is this car originally when it came to me, it's broken here. Remember you had the hammer? He it's put a hammer. Right. Yeah, he oh. all this up. So this was all brand new. It's all accidents. I feel like I do this on purpose. Like the last time I hit a fox going 150. <laughs> no, 160. What? And the fox went through the hole, hit the tire through the front of the car. So then what he did was he, uh, if I remember, he f***ed up this radiator too. And he bypassed it. Then he used a hammer to plug up one of the radiator yeah, hoses. This, this hose here, we had to plug it. So he put a hammer in there and oh, tightened it. We I remember around. that. No, I remember drove that. Around. I, airport security took it. I wanted to keep <laughs> the hammer back. TSA took it. So, <laughs> so yeah, now it's here to get the same shit fixed again. The same exact thing. That How much does this one make? 1400. Uh, yeah, this is a 1400. Okay. So it's here just just to get back well, to 14. I mean, weren't you just bringing it to LA just to drive it around? It's here to drive. Oh. I wasn't And then it's on... like, oh, I understand. So and then he, it got pulled off. He shipped it here to have a good time. Oh, so now you want that to like. Now we gotta buy that as a replacement. I don't know. You want the green one? Well, I was going to. I, you know, it's. I might have bought a Porsche Taycan, so that's gonna. Be Nothing of towards my buddy here, my, my brother, but the car's slow. I was gonna say the car's really. I said it's only. Well, it's not slow. Well, it's literally less okay. than a thousand. Yeah. Wow. It's easy to make a thousand. All it needs is fueling. Yeah. Fueling. We already have the motor. Yeah, you're right. All it it's needs just fuel fueling. System. So you just need, in what? Injectors? Does it need new just lines? Entire new fuel system. <laughs> okay, so it needs a couple pumps. Not an entire new. It needs a couple pumps, injectors. What's SOS what's did a this? great job. Huh? What's all this? Clients cars, bro. We specialize in V10s. So, so you sell any of those? I'm selling. Uh, I got a couple for sale. I got the purple one for sale. I got a black uh, R8. That gray R8. one's for sale. The gray there. SVJ's for sale. That one? That one. Which one? No, the vendor oh, that. That's yours, right? That's my personal car. For sale. <laughs> You're gonna let me try that one too, right? Yeah. The doors don't open on their own, which I get. Okay, maybe. They close on their own. I mean, I don't think no Rolls Royce open on their half own. Half the time they close on their own. I know, but for 600K. This is a badass. Bet half too. the time. Tesla's open on their own. Okay, so it does that. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> There's a fridge back there. The back seats adjust. But you're on the price set either. Yeah, yeah. So now you got me stressing out. It's worth Cody, what it's worth. I mean. If you drive it and you break that front lip and then the don't. Biggest cry baby with that yeah, that's, a th that's the thing. It's a car though. I'm Yo, yo, listen. I work on these it, cars and he tries to tell me how to drive his car. Right <laughs> it's true. You could take my, how about you take my already out and you go hit a hundred things with it and bring it back. I'm, a, I'm not even going to cry. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> you kept asking for interior pics. Yeah, like, well, it's a stock yeah, like, interior. That's important. It's important. I, I agree. I agree. Okay. It's not as white in person, which I like because it's not no, stained. It, no, it's, it's like, stained it's like a cream. It's like a cream. But so I just had everything. Can I sit in it? Yeah. PPF the whole car, ceramic code the whole car. I like the lights. I was literally about to rip those off. I know off. you were, but I like them. Really? You like them? Yeah. yeah, just leave them in. <laughs> it's cool. It looks cool. Cody wants to drive it. I'm like, no one's ever driven this car but me. He said he really wants to get behind it. Oh, yeah. As long as you don't just try to jump it. I'm not going to jump it. So jump it to the left, Cody. Yeah, you're a little bit taller. You're going to have to yeah, scoot I'm, that seat I'm back. I'm like six foot five. How do I roll down the windows on this? They're up, they're up here. All the controls are like oh, all up shit. here. Yeah. So you've never driven an Huracan? I've never driven a Huracan before. Yeah, that's way different. Yeah, I, I always assumed they would sound the same, and they actually they don't. way different. They that's sound way different. Yeah, they're not at all the same. All right, so overall thoughts, R8 to Lambo, do they feel different? Uh, the Lambo definitely <laughs> looks really well. The tires are a lot more grippy. Mine are like really uh, firm, like no grip. Oh man, I, I scraped I it. I f***ed it up, man, right there. Right That's there. how low it is, yeah. like anything. Anyways, you're lucky I didn't hit anything though, at least. There's no I hammers rubbed, I rubbed one road. square centimeter of concrete there. But <laughs> yeah, definitely like a lot more solid feeling. Yeah. Um, less daily-able, but more solid.
is one of the features I still haven't showed Cody yet, so I thought I'd give you percussive. And then the longer you Shake stay on it, and the hotter it gets, the bigger the flames the will get. And then the more, yeah, out, yeah, it's like the first like couple seconds, it's like okay, but if you just like oh, yeah. stand on it, it just gets yeah, like, like sounds a little unhealthy, but I know no, it's handle. fine. I know it can handle it. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Overall, where's your head at? We don't need to put you Overall, on. Overall, so the problem is. I have to keep my R8 because I love that car. Okay. That's like the rely or not the rely, but the daily version. Sure. Of it. That's sure. a daily able like take I, it anywhere. I agree. If you if you total it, not a big deal. Yeah. Who cares? Just an yeah. R8. I have to keep that. Otherwise, I would just trade it and be like, okay. So I have to. I gotta run some numbers. Okay. I feel you. I need like 15 minutes before I can tell you yes. Oh, okay, really? I need 15 minutes until I tell you yes on it. But I gotta think about it just a little bit. Um, I'm not pressuring you now. Hey, yeah, if, no, if it takes a day is, or two. The thing is, I, I wanted it the day you built it. Like and that's, that's one thing is, I don't know if I saw those those texts, but literally as we started putting it together, you were damning me. I, and yeah, you were just like, I want I've always kind of wanted that. I don't know. Just that the whole color scheme is amazing. Though. I saw it when you're building it, and I was like, because I was gonna buy Mark's uh, gray one, and Which, then I found out it was two wheel drive, and I'm like, no, you have I don't, to have I can't the all. Have the you have to have the all. That's like kind of dangerous, to be honest. It is. With that much, how much um, does this make? His was his was only like 800, I think. Okay. But but still, that's still he's a like, lot oh, of. Oh, the Motec will handle it, but I've seen things go bad. Yes. So yeah, you need all wheel drive for sure. I agree. 12. It was 12. Okay. Okay, so it was 1200, but still, that's dangerous. Very on, on two wheel drive. You're gonna break it loose. I want it. I'm not gonna lie. I really do want it. The, and then you got you have the other factor that I just bought a Porsche Take on Turbo mm -hmm. S two days ago. Yeah, uh, dude. But, when, but, when, but these are big boy purchases. This is like this is this is man's money. Yeah, like I haven't bought two new cars. Well, kind of new. I mean, I haven't bought two expensive two cars. Two brand new. I've only ever had one expensive car. And I'm about to buy two in one week. So we'll see. It comes to California, but, balls out. Well, I said, the problem is as soon as you post a video, everyone's gonna be like, oh, he can't have it. I gotta get it before Whistle gets it. Well, this I won't be posting this till like. <laughs> Like Saturday. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll still be here Saturday. Oh shit. Alright, well I will let you know very soon though. I got home a few hours ago and I didn't film anything on the way home. I'll keep you guys updated with where this goes and where the story ends up. The last thing that Cody said is he was like, give me a couple days, let me figure some stuff out and I will let you know. I don't know what's gonna happen, I really don't. This is like kind of just, I'll keep you guys updated, so stay up to date. I know I'm gonna post this video before he would buy it or not, so you'll be able to be up to date with what actually happens. If I were to let go of the car, that'd be a really cool person for the car to go to. Genuinely loves the car and for months he's been asking about it and um, the story would be cool. So I'm pretty interested in that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, enjoyed today's collab. It was really cool getting to meet him. I've never met him before and that guy is like full of wild ass ideas. So it was really funny just to kind of chalk it up with him and get to know him a little bit off camera. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was very spur of the moment and uh, did not expect this to happen today. But that's what makes YouTube cool, dude, is just stuff can happen on a whim and things can fall together and fall in our lap. And uh, speaking of falling in my lap, boys, Mm. I'm trying real hard over here to, to, to make some really cool shit happen. And if it happens, I can't wait to share it with you guys the news. And if it doesn't happen, I'll let you guys know about it. That's all I can say. Super sorry to have it be like that. But thank y'all so much for watching today's video. If you haven't already, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, and let me know if you enjoyed today's video, if you enjoyed collabs. Because if you guys like collabs, I'll do them more often. No one has told you lately, you can achieve anything that you guys want to do if you put your mindset to it. Hanging out with Cody today and learning about his story was really cool to see how he literally just came from nothing and came to be the, uh, you know as successful as he is today. And it was kind of like a cool little reminder just to see where life can take you when you have fun with what you're doing, find a way to enjoy what you're doing. And you know, with the, what we have today, you can become successful and you can touch things and make gold overnight. I hope, you know, you guys always remember that. That's something that I always try to keep you guys alive in the back of your head. Always always keep keep that hope, keep that faith alive that whatever you're doing, it's, it's anything's possible. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out and keep moving forward.